Hello and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Judith. Today we are going to cook a golden pompano. It is a fish that's not native to this area. It's from the Atlantic. Um, ranges from Massachusetts down through the Caribbean as far south as Brazil. But it is a really wonderful fish. So if you can get it in here, you will be getting it frozen. We need to clean it first because they don't come cleaned. So we're going to cut the fins down. And we're going to actually cut these ones right off. Now you can take the head off and fillet it if you wish, but we're going to do it whole. And the tail's a little sad looking, but that's the way tails go sometimes. So you want to cut a slit and you want to actually go to one side of the middle of there. You don't really want to cut right through um, as we would on a west coast fish because they are rather um, firm. So that's, that's okay. Let's start from here. I have done this before, believe it or not. Doesn't look like it, but yep. Yeah. Well, let's get those little fins out of the way. There we go. Right up. And then we're just going to get our finger in there and start pulling things out. And you will want to watch on the back here. See that? There, getting in there. Right, these little guys, they're going to poke you if you're not careful. Okay. So now we want to make sure we pull the gill rakes out. For whatever reason this is recommended to do. You may have to cut them to get them out. Depends on the size of your fish. And I've never actually seen one that was really big, but I assume they get bigger than this. the other side. Of course if you're taking the head off you don't have to worry about the gill rakes. Okay, now we're going to give them a good wash. Our 
bottom panel is now all clean and washed. And while you're rinsing out the insides, make sure you dig around in there and get any um, bits you might have missed out. And I see it's still got a lot of water in there. Let's pour that out. Okay. Now what you want to do, because we are going to fry this one, is we're going to slice into the meat. About an inch apart. And make a cross hatch pattern. Now, Pompano is a very firm fleshed fish. So, when you thaw it out, it's not going to be floppy like the fish we get on the West Coast are. It's still going to feel very stiff, but that's fine. That's the way the fish is. Okay, now we're gonna oopsie. Okay, well, I kind of misjudged that one, but that's okay. There we go. We want to get it down in there. The whole purpose of the cuts are to get the flavoring in. Fresh ground pepper there. Same treatment to the other side. All right, we're ready to fry our pompano. Pompano. First, we're going to dredge it in the flour. I do have the deep fryer on high. You don't need a deep fryer to do this. You could do it in a pan on the stove. Just be very careful. Um, hot oil on the stove can be dangerous. And that's why I prefer to use a deep fryer. So shake it off a little bit. And look, we've got some more moisture there. And my deep fryer, as far as I know, only goes to 375. Not much higher, if anything. But the numbers have all worn off over the years. So there we go. And we're going to. Mr. Fishy in, slowly. check on him. All right, so that's been 11 minutes at the moment. I did give it a flip at the eight minute point. I'm going to see how we're doing. I think our fish looks lovely. Pour it out, let the water, or let the oil drain a little bit. And then on to some paper towel. Oh yes, looking great. We'll turn that off. Look at that, baby. Bring it a little closer. There we go. We are going to serve our lovely fish with some rice and steamed broccoli. And this is our fried pompano. It's crispy on the outside, beautifully tender on the inside. You can serve it with whatever your favorite vegetable is. 
whatever your favorite dipping sauce is. Lemon is lovely. And I hope you liked the video. If you did, I hope you make this dish soon.